Oh, I've got something in my eye. Right. I've got something cool to tell you. So, a couple of, well, just over a week ago, almost said a couple of weeks, just over a week ago, I not only had a really good session film with Oscar Thornton, but I also went round Richie McDonald's house. Something I never thought I would say, and something I'm very glad to be sat here saying, because we went round there for a reason, and the reason we went round there was to film a for the record interview with him, which we are delighted about. You know, that for us is a massive deal. Um, it's someone that we never expected to film with, and yeah, like I say, you know, we're over the moon to have done that. Can't wait to show you it, and I don't know when it will be released. It might be before Christmas. In fact, it might be Christmas Day. We're not too sure when to release it yet. So if you're watching this and it's almost Christmas, hope you have a lovely Christmas. Uh, if it's not Christmas Day, then it will be in the new year. So if you're watching this and it's in the new year, I hope you had a lovely Christmas and a happy new year. And in a couple of days time, or maybe even the day, I don't know when this video will go out, but you'll be watching Richard McDonald for the record. Now, in the build up to this, both me and Rich were pretty nervous to be fair. Now, that's quite rare because we've done it a lot of times, uh, but we didn't know what to expect from Richie. You know, neither of us knew him, which again is quite rare. Normally, one of us um, has got some kind of relationship with the people we do these interviews with, but this time around, neither of us did. So we didn't know what it was going to be like, but it was brilliant. Uh, Richie really warmed to it. In fact, I think he really enjoyed doing it. And we are going to go and see him again. This first interview, we, we sort of said to ourselves, right, we're just going to go in and roll and just get whatever we can because we just don't know how it's going to turn out and we didn't want to waste a single second. So this interview might be a little bit more, a little bit rougher to begin with than your average for the record, but the content, of course, is still there. Richie was on top form and one thing that really struck me was how knowledgeable he was for a guy that hasn't fished for... 25 years or whatever it is his knowledge of carp and carp fishing is incredible you know most people these days it's very easy just to pick up a book a magazine talk to people on the internet you can gain a lot of knowledge very quickly whereas you could tell by talking to Richie that he had developed a very strong set of carp catching skills um, and knowledge through being on the bank and catching carp and you know that is why he is regarded as the best big carp man of his era the fish he caught and the, you know, during the times that he caught them is incredible. And when you watch this interview, you will realise the people he was mixing with, you know, and he was right up there with the very best. So, as I said at the start, you know, we're buzzing about this. We are absolutely buzzing to have got this done and we're bringing it to you. I would have thought when you watch this, it'll be within the next few days. So, get ready for it. It'll be a Friday 5.30 release. You're going to love it. If you're an old school angler, I'm sure you massively looked up to Richie. If you're new school, like me, you may not have a massive knowledge of Richie McDonald. I'm sure you've heard of him, but you know, prepare yourself for a pretty cool interview. We're gonna see him again, so this will be the first of maybe two or three parts, and I'll put the trailer on the end of this video. So, hope you're all having a lovely time, whatever you're doing. Make sure you tune into this film, which will be released on Friday at 5.30, and I hope you enjoy it. You know, the police after me, I couldn't fish the way I wanted to fish. You know, I had to hide myself away, and uh, it was a, a big achievement, in my opinion. A penny piece on the spool, and then when that penny piece drops into the, the can, ding, ding, and then you're up and away. Well, my version is don't ever follow in anybody's footsteps because you'll always be behind. Get in front. So keep hold of it. I could have pulled that out and said, yeah, another one caught by hand, mate. I've got to run, but I don't know what, what it is. Uh, you've got to be calm and collective, especially when you've got a bigger on. Kill all the ants. What feeds on the ants? That's your next level. That's got nothing to feed on. So that dies out. I don't care what else is happening, I'm coming for this. And that's what I'm going to, what I'm going to do, whatever it takes. And I cried my bastard eyes out, and I was a hard cover at the time. Hey, Chris, you don't belong here, mate. He, he just put your split cane rods out and put them on the deck. That's why you'll never see me look at a camera. When, I'm, when I catch a fish, the fish is the one with the glory, mate. 